Good morning. Currently in Verona. I'm staying here for four weeks for a placement in general surgery. Having to speak a little bit quieter because some of my friends that are here with me are still asleep. But we'll be taking you along to the hospital. It is a one hour bus ride there and I'm running a little bit late, so we'll get going. So my placement is uh, specific on pancreatic surgery, which has been quite interesting. Essentially, the center I'm in at the moment is very specialized. They will have uh, patients from all over Italy with any sort of uh, pancreatic issue. A lot of the times will be pancreatic cancer. Bread and butter here, really. It seems to be the Whipple's procedures. Yeah, the plan today, how will join in the for theaters in the morning, which should be starting soon. Yeah, after that, I want to speak to one of the surgeons that I'm meant to talk to today try and arrange a some sort of a research project while I'm here. I think it would be a good use of time. I think it's a nice opportunity to see like how different departments in different countries will conduct their research. So we'll see how that goes. So I just watched an uh, elective inguinosurgery repair. I've tagged along with the other team of general surgeons, the other ones that I was following previously. Very specialized in pancreatic surgery. So today I'm seeing more general surgery. It's an elective inguinal hernia repair, just open. Pretty interesting, a lot quicker than the pancreatic surgeries, which is quite nice. But there are four surgeries planned. I will probably be joining for the first three. So I'll join now the anesthetist to see a, bit, a little bit about what they do how it works here in Italy, and I'll keep you updated. Two hours later. Turns out it will be a while till the next patient is ready. So I'm quickly going to get some food, show you the food here, hospital food in Italy. So food here, it's pretty good. The section I showed is just the pastry kind of sandwich area. There's an actual like, lunch uh, area but obviously it's not lunch time yet so it's not open second procedure happening right now this one is a laparoscopic hernia repair so i think today will be mainly hernias uh, that i'll be watching uh, after this i think we'll be going on a little expedition to try to find this one surgeon that i spoke to yesterday about getting involved in research so i'm gonna have to try to find her here in the hospital at some point but during the food break i got to see the medical school here an area where the students uh, attend have lectures and uh, it's, I'm very positively surprised. It's very well equipped. The lecture theaters and uh, study areas. If I'm comparing to the UK, like I'd say it's quite similar because uh, we do have really good learning facilities as well back in the hospital that I attend. So in that way, it's quite nice, which is uh, interesting to see. I guess that's the nice thing about spending your summer in a different healthcare system, a different hospital. I get to see these little differences, the positives and the negatives, which I'll talk a little bit when I'm outside the hospital. Started to sit here and talk a little bit about the differences I've noticed throughout this placement so far. I, this is my second week here. There are two things that I've very drastically different from the NHS, from the UK, yeah, from the doctors there. The first thing that I noticed was that the doctors here are actually happy. That's like a concept that I wasn't really used to because in the NHS, genuinely, like if I'm comparing general surgery trainees in the NHS to general surgery trainees here, which I spent uh, you know a week with now, you will struggle to find a general surgery trainee in the UK actually like, that likes what they're doing, that doesn't hate their life because uh, I think general surgery in specific, the workload is a lot and the pay is horrible. While here, I came in, they were like laughing, smiling. It's like they had time to take breaks in between and uh, the workload definitely seems to be 
a lot more manageable here. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that they don't work, you know, obviously, still medicine, still doctors, they still work a lot, but it's just that I think in the NHS, we get used to these working conditions that are just not the norm, or shouldn't be the norm, which is quite ridiculous. Like, this hospital in particular is very well staffed. They have many, many doctors, but it is because the site that I'm in is a pancreatic surgery like specialized area um, called the Pancreas Institute and they will have patients from all over Italy come have surgery here. I think partly it is because in England you get like thrown around the country many times throughout your training so you don't stick to a team for long enough to I guess build friendships. For a consultant post someone might have to move all over the country while here it's their whole training is in the hospital they do get to go to other hospitals as well but it, it seems like it's more fixed and so you get to create this like environment where you know everyone you're friends with everyone which i think plays a big role as to why everyone here is so much happier but you know the pay is bad for doing training so i think them is also a factor because england you're a trainee for so long while here general surgery training is five years so you do six years of medical school, five years general surgery training, and in the UK the pay will be bad for forever, it seems like. So I think this, these are the, the things that contribute to people here being happier. <laughs> because yeah, that was something that shocked me, something that made me feel a little bit better about the profession, to be honest, because in England, you will speak to doctors and they'll be like, don't go into medicine, it's not worth it. You work so hard and you, and you get no nothing in return, really. I've been hearing this since the moment I joined medical school. And then to come here to a different system and see that doctors elsewhere are actually happy, it was very nice to see. Like, it makes me more hopeful uh, for the future. That's about it. In the city center now, I'm gonna go look for some nice lunch. Let me show if I turn around here. There's a whole strip like full of restaurants. A little park to the side and then right ahead the uh, arena. just had some amazing carbonara and now I'm feeling quite sleepy but uh, I'm gonna have to fight myself to stay awake that's the one thing I've been struggling in this uh, elective like it's an hour away from my place the hospital so I need to wake up quite early to arrive there by 8 8 30 like waking up every day at like 6 30 a.m. just gonna have to survive on a lot of coffee I'll head back to my apartment now, get some coffee, do some work, and uh, we'll see. Alright guys, this will essentially be the end of my day. I am behind on work, I will be catching up, just trying to study a little bit, catch up on some past my questions, have some emails to send, have some stuff to do. So, it will be quite boring to just record myself studying, there's no, no point really. Yeah, if you're thinking of uh, doing your elective in Italy, in Verona, I'd recommend, I think it's great. Especially in countries in Europe, because here they're very used to like Erasmus programs and uh, other programs like that where you get students from different countries to just uh, study somewhere else for the summer. It's a very common thing. So even if you're not from the EU, like UK is not EU anymore, all you need to do is send an email. I wanted to show what uh, Verona looks like at night. I'm with some friends at the opera inside. 